The division method for base conversion forms the complement to the multiplication method. So whereas the multiplication method has you performing your arithmetic in the destination base, the division method will have you do it in the source base. And again, we're going to have a whole lot of arithmetic to do, but it's going to involve relatively straightforward numbers to work with. We won't have to memorize anything. As the complement of the multiplication method, the division method basically works in reverse. So we're going to start by taking our number, and we're going to do a whole lot of division. Each step, we're going to take the remainder out and just use that as the next digit in our solution. So we'll gradually build up our solution one digit at a time. If we start with a number like 85 in base 10, and we want to convert this to base 2, I'm going to start by dividing by 2. So this will give me 42, remainder 1. So I'll take this 1, and I'll write it down. That is now my most significant bit. Of course, I don't have any other bits, so it's also my least significant bit. Now I'll go back over here, and I'll divide by 2 again. So 42 divided by 2 gives me 21, remainder 0. So I'll copy down the 0. And I'll divide again. So 21 divided by 2 gives me 10, remainder 1. And I'll copy down the remainder again. So 10 divided by 2 gives me 5, remainder 0. I'll copy down the remainder. 5 divided by 2 gives me 2, remainder 1. So I'll copy over the 1. 2 divided by 2 gives me 1, remainder 0. And 1 divided by 2 gives me 0, remainder 1. Now I can continue doing this division as much as I'd like, but my results are never going to change. 0 divided by anything is always going to give me 0, remainder 0, so I just get an infinite number of zeros. So this is my same number in binary as 85 in base 10. While this turns out to be a palindrome, we can also look at this as saying, here's the beginning of my number, here's the end of it. So I can actually just read down this list of remainders and say that this is my number in base 2. So 1010101. If we had a more complicated number, this would be a little more obvious. If we had something that wasn't symmetrical, in this case it's not clear, but you certainly can do this. That would do exactly the same thing as writing this out one bit at a time.